Welcome. Thank you very much for participating in our talk today. Really appreciate your attendance.、Um, this is going to be a topic on、uh, integrative women's health course that we have, and the topic is going to be on prolonged menstrual flow. Prolonged menstrual flow. A typical case, for example, from Dr. Zhu Lanxun, a very famous physician in、uh, Shanghai. Uh, a 49 years old married、uh, woman who has prolonged menstruation for two years.、Uh, most of the time, her period is regular. She、uh, flows five to six days normally, 30 day cycle. Usually, median amount of flow, some clots. But since beginning of the year,、uh, she started to experience、uh, many cycles of prolonged、uh, menstrual period flow. Her OB/GYN advised DNC. Uh, followed by estrogen and progesterone usage, cyclical usage, but uh, uh, she did do that. She went through that, but it doesn't seem to have worked、uh, well at all.、Uh, she continued to have this uh, prolonged uh, menstrual flow.、Uh, she also exhibits、uh, symptoms such as insomnia, anxiety.、Uh, she has some head pressure, and recently her、uh, menstruation again lasted for ten days. And through her ultrasound, her uterus lining was very, very thick. It's like 12 millimeter thick, and her tongue is、uh, slightly red. And coating is thin, yellow, greasy, and the pulse is wiry and thready.、Uh, the TCM diagnosis in this situation is a prolonged menstrual flow, and the Western medicine diagnosis is basically abnormal uterine bleeding. So this is a typical case that we see clinically. The、uh, definition is that、uh, with the menstrual、uh, cycle being normal. The days of menstrual flow increases to beyond seven days, and is usually anywhere between seven to fourteen days.、Uh, this is a situation might associate with hypermenorrhea,、uh, menorrhagia. This is still a typical Western medicine definition, even though the flow may not be dramatically increased but just prolonged.、Um, so, regardless of the quantity of flow, the possible condition. That create this condition could be a, a corpus luteum dysfunction, it could be a PID pelvic inflammatory disease、uh, situation, and it could be actually a, a result of a DNC. Actually, sometimes a DNC situation where that you know it, it can a lot of time we see more lightening and decreased menstrual flow, but sometimes we can also see it cause the menstrual flow to become out of control in the sense that. It flows long, but not necessarily the quantity increase dramatically, but just a flow of much longer time. And or ovulatory dysfunction, if the ovulation process、uh, there is some、uh, difficulties or irregularity there. There are usually three main etiologies in traditional Chinese medicine that we look at. One is qi deficiency, the second is deficient heat, and the third is、uh, blood stagnation. In qi deficiency, we can see someone who has constitutionally weakness,、uh, or we have insufficient food intake or improper nutrition,、uh, or overstraining.、Um, you know, doing too much.、Uh, life is too busy, using up a lot of the qi.、Uh, this can all cause injury to spleen qi, and the middle jiao qi become deficient. In、uh, this situation, chong and ren become dysfunctional and cannot control the blood flow. And therefore, you're going to have prolonged menstrual flow. The second etiology is deficient heat. When you have a deficient heat,、um, especially in situations such as chronic illness,、uh, which can injure the yin and cause deficient yin, or if you have excessive men,、uh, pregnancy, where that the kidney、uh, yin become deficient and then causing the internal deficient heat creation, or you have overstraining or excessive sexual activity, this all can cause the yin and blood becoming depleted. Decrease or deficient, which causes the heat rising. With that heat rising, the heat can disturb the Chong and Ren Si of the blood and can cause the period flow、uh, to become kind of restless and become kind of long.、Uh, so that is a deficient heat、uh, etiology. And the third etiology is blood stagnation.、Uh, this can occur in, in patients who might have chronic depression uh, uh, or chronic、uh, Qi stasis. Uh, where that is now injuring the liver, injuring the qi, qi、uh, injuring the liver, causing qi stasis and blood stagnation. Oh, you have exogenous pathogenic attack. 
uh, where it gets stuck in the uterus. Uh, it might be cold pathogen, it might be wind, wind heat pathogen, and causing the blood to stagnate. Uh, in that situation, Chong channel, Ren channel, the uterus all become stagnant, and therefore the menstrual flow is out of control, so the menstrual flow just drips on, um, so, so you start having longer flow. But so in summary, in pathology, if you look at deficiency and excess, deficiency is usually coming from a qi deficiency or deficient he situation, where chong and ren loses in control, and the he can disturb it, chong and ren, the menstrual blood loss control. So it's a sense of loss control. So as an excess, is also a loss control issue where the blood stagnation can cause tongue and ren blockage and where the blood, uh, menstrual blood can lose control. Uh, so in diagnosis, we usually see a menstrual uh, blood flow usually lasts more than seven days, but the cycle is usually normal. Um, so we can see that the menstrual flow do increase or stay about the same. Uh, menstrual cycle is irregular and can combine with all different things, combined with dysmenorrhea, can combine with back pain, leukorrhea kind of situation. So in an examination, we want to check for the size of the uterus or take a look at if there's any remain product if somebody who is miscarried. Uh, do we have a remain product of uh, conception? Product of conception, we want to take a look at it. Uh, or product of menstruation, you may have clots and that's retained behind, and that can cause blood stagnation and create out of control blood flow. And we want to take a look at if there's pelvic tenderness, and we want to, might want to look at a sex hormone level to see if this is a hormonal issue. <clears throat> so if we look at differentiation of syndromes, um, in qi deficiency, the quantity of the blood flow is probably going to be a little bit more. Um, the deficient heat probably is going to be a little less, actually. And uh, blood stagnation is going to be more or less. It can be either. In color-wise, <clears throat> in qi deficiency, we're going to see some pale color. And in heat in the blood, we're going to see more bright red. And in blood stagnation, we're going to see more purple dark uh, blood flow. And in uh, uh, quantity-wise, um, and quality, I'm sorry, quality-wise, in qi deficiency, we're going to see much more thinner flow. And while the heat in the blood, we're going to see more thicker flow. And while the blood stagnation is going to be clots, going to be clots. So in cycle-wise, uh, in qi deficiency, we're not going to see, uh, <clears throat> basically, uh, the blood doesn't clean. It doesn't clear very well. Um, but in the other ones, such as blood, blood, heat in the blood, as well as the blood stagnation, the cycle usually is pretty, pretty normal, pretty normal. So in a, qi dif in a treatment principle, what we want to do is really focus on the tone's function in controlling the blood flow. So we really want to strengthen the tone function, and we want to stop bleeding, and we're going to get the ovulation and period back to regularity. Uh, we want to try to shrink, objectively, we want to shrink the menstruation time, menstruation time. So in qi deficiency, we want to tonify qi and control blood. In deficient heat condition, we want to nourish in, clear heat, and stop bleeding. In blood stagnation situation, we want to activate blood, dissolve stagnation, and stop bleeding. So these are the treatment principles of the three conditions. Now let's uh, get into the herbal therapy. The very first is uh, qi deficiency. Now you're gonna find some of the herbal therapy that worked well for hypermenorrhea can also work well in this particular situation. For example, in qi deficiency, where that we see symptoms of prolonged menstruation, excessive flow, pale and thin flow, fatigue, shortness of breath, feeble speech, pale face, tongue is pale, coating is thin, pulse is slow and weak. These are situations where we can see an obvious tongue and ren weakened control and cannot control the menstrual blood flow. And this is where we want to tonify qi, control blood, strengthen tongue, and regular menstruation. And the formula we use is a modified ju yuan jian, Modified Ju Yuan Jian. Basically, Ju Yuan Jian is, uh, if you remember in the previous section, uh, under hypermenorrhea for qi deficiency, it's a combination of Ren Sen, Wang Qi, Bai Zhu, Sen Ma, Zhi Gan Cao, 
And, uh, and with that in mind, fiber, we want to add, since it's modified, we want to add ajiao, ai ye, and wu uh, zeigu, which these three are kind of astringent, they control the blood flow, control the blood flow. And uh, um, if, if the bleeding is so excessive, let's add a little bit of moody into the mix. If there are painful period, let's add san qi, pu huang, and xue yu tang into the mix. Now let's go to herbal therapy for deficient heat. In the deficient heat situation, we are going to have symptoms of prolonged menstrual flow. The flow usually is less, and the color is usually bright or red and it's usually thick or sticky flow. There's usually dry throat and mouth, or with flushed face, tidal heat, or with five soul heat. Tongue is red, coating is usually scanty, and the pulse is sweaty and rapid. Now, this is a situation of indeficiency with internal heat, heat disturbing the chong and ren, sea of the blood, restless and not calm. And this is where we should nourish the yin, clear the heat, and stop bleeding. So we use a combination of liang di tang with e zi wan, with wu zei gu and qian cao. So the composition of formula would be sen di, xuan sen, mai dong, di gu pi. Right off the back, these four herbs are very good for nourishing the yin, reducing the deficient heat. Then we will add a jiao. Bai Sao, Yu Zhen Zi, Han Yan Cao, to further strengthen the uh, kidney yin. And we add Wu Zhe Gu as well, Qian Cao, to stop the bleeding. And so this is the formula that can be used for deficient heat, deficient heat condition. Now, if the flow is so scanty, <clears throat> then what we want to do, we may want to add some Sou Di, add some Dang Sen. Uh, if we have very strong fever, and uh, especially hot flushes, we can add some byway into the mix, byway into the mix. So let's go into herbal therapy for blood stagnation. This is a situation where you can see in prolonged menstrual flow, um, usually less flow amount. Uh, there is a dark red color with clots. There's pelvic pain, aversion to pressure. Tongue is usually purple dark. <clears throat> or with stagnation spots, uh, pulse is usually wiry and sluggish. Um, this is a situ situation where the stagnancy is blocking the proper functioning of chong and ren and uterus in having regular menstrual flow. So the menstrual flow becomes hesitant, out of control, um, and prolonged. So what we want to do is to activate a blood, dissolve the stagnation, and stop bleeding. So we usually use um, and this is where we take the page uh, from the hypermenorrhea situation where we use Tao Hong Si Wu Tang, uh, Pu Si Xiao San, Pu Si Mu Cao, and Qian Cao. So we use Tao Lin, Hong Hua, uh, Sou Di, Dang Gui, Bai Sao, Chuan Xiong, um, herbs, and then we can add things like Pu Huang, Wu Lin Zi, uh, Yi Mu Cao, and Qian Cao into the mix. Now, if uh, we have a situation where that there is a lot of pelvic distending pain, then we can add some yuan hu suo as well as er zu, er zu and yuan hu suo. Now, in the herbal instruction, most of the time, it would be really more effective if you take the herbs during menstruation. So you can also take it outside of menstruation as well as during menstruation. I would stay away from the astringent herb just in case, especially in a situation where there's blockage and congestion, especially in the excess condition. So coming back to this uh, case of a 49-year-old married, prolonged menstruation for two years uh, happened after uh, she had a DNC. Also, uh, the DNC, I'm sorry, the DNC did not work so well. Uh, so she exhibited insomnia, anxiety, head pressure, and uh, uh, recently her menstruation again lasted 10 days. And uh, TCM diagnosis, prolonged menstruation, uh, Western diagnosis, abnormal uterine bleeding. So if you look at this, the patient is at a 7-7 age. Uh, her liver and kidney essence and yin has depleted. And at the same time, she exhibited a ministerial fire rising. She has indeficiency with fire causing head distension, uh, emotional instability, 
uh, heat disturbing the Chongren, causing the menstrual blood to lose control. Therefore, you have a prolonged period. So we have a syndrome of liver kidney indeficiency. We have a heart brain lacked uh, heart and the brain and the blood lack nourishment. So we want to nourish the liver and kidney, calms the heart, calms the spirit. So uh, this particular case used the formula of Dangui, Sodi, Suan Zhao Lin, Ye Jiao Ten, He Huan Pi, Yuan Zi, Hu Shen, uh, Huai Xiao Mai, as well as Zi Gan Cao, 14 bags into the mix for this condition. On her second visit, <clears throat> her sleep has greatly improved. Uh, her dizziness has improved. Appetite become normal. The bowel movement is regular now. And her last period lasted seven days instead of 10 days. So that's a great improvement. Pulse is now uh, thready and soft. And her tongue coating is thin. So she modified, Dr. Zhu Lanzu modified this formula again to Dang Gui So Di San Yao. Uh, I'm sorry, Dang Gui So Di Sa Lin, uh, Suan Zhao Lin, uh, Ye Jiao Ten, Hu Shen, Fu Ling, uh, He Huan Pi, Yuan Zi, uh, Huai Xiao Mai, Zi Gan Cao, Bai Zhu, and Bai Sao. Uh, basically, what she's trying to do now is trying to consolidate and trying to strengthen the kidney a little bit, strengthen the blood a little bit to make sure that uh, this liver and kidney deficiency uh, becomes uh, decreased and that she uh, is strengthened throughout. So thank you so much. This uh, concludes this particular topic on prolonged menstrual uh, so, uh, pro uh, prolong the menstrual flow and, uh, and appreciate your attendance and look forward to uh, see you uh, next time.